absolute maximum and minimum of a function. Find absolute maximum minimum of a function f of x equals to x square plus 16 over x on the interval x is greater than 0. Now for finding maximum minimum function let's find the derivative and equate it to 0 to get the critical point and then to prove whether it's a maximum or a minimum we can see how it behaves on the left or right side of those critical points and then we can figure out the answer. So let's first find the derivative which is f dash x of this function which will be 2x and this is minus 16 over x square. Now to find critical number f dash x will be equated to 0. So we have now f dash x equals to 0 which is equals to 2x minus 16 over x square. And let's now solve this. So to solve this we can just multiply by x square and we get 0 equals to 2x cubed minus 16 over x square. Now this can be 0 if the numerator is 0, correct? So we'll solve for numerator which is 2x cubed minus 16 equals to 0. So that gives us 2x cubed equals to 16 and then we can divide by 2 both sides. So we get x cubed equals to 16 over 2. So x is cube root which is 8, right? So x is cube root of 8. So x is cube root of 8 which is 2 for us, correct? Right? So we have a critical number and which is x equals to 2. So that's the critical number, right? So this step was done to find the critical number. So at x equals to 2, we have a possibility of maximum or minimum. And now let's see how to test whether it is indeed a maximum or minimum or not at x equals to 2. So what we will do is, we'll take a number line and on that point, line, we'll take a point which is x equals to 2. Now this point divides the line into two intervals. One is from minus infinity to 2 and the other one is from 2 to infinity. Now note, we have an interval for the function which is x greater than 0. So we'll consider only x greater than 0. So we have an interval here open from 0, right, till 2. And at 2, we know the rate of change is 0. So it could be a turning point. Okay, so in these intervals, let's take some test values. So test points in these intervals could be so TP is my test point. So I can take a value 1 here and a value 3 here. And the derivative for us is f dash x equals to, we'll write down the derivative here, which is 2x minus 16 over x square. So that is the derivative, which is f dash of x equals to, right? So if I put 1 here in this expression, what do I get? So f dash of 1 is equals to 2 minus 16, which is negative, correct? So I get a value which is negative in nature. If I plug in 3 here, then what do I get? So f dash of 3 equals to 2 times 3 is 6 minus 16 divided by 3 square, which is 9, right? So this value is positive in nature, right? This is negative. So for this side, we get a positive value. Do you see that? So from this, we, what we can see is that in this interval, the rate of change is negative. That means the function is decreasing. And after 2, at 2 it is 0, right? It is increasing, correct? So at 2, clearly, we have minimum. Now you can see, since there is only one critical point in this function, so this minimum is absolute minimum. So it's kind of very important to show that why it is absolute minimum in such cases, right? Now the reason here is that we have only one critical point, right? And what we see is that f dash x is negative for 
for values less than that critical point, right? So, and it is more, it is positive afterwards and therefore it is a minimum. And since there is only one critical point, it follows that this is absolute minimum, right? And therefore our answer is find absolute maximum of the function. So we have to find the value of the function at 2. So we'll write f of 2 here in the value and which is equals to 2 square plus 16 over 2 which is 4 plus 16 over 2 is 8 12 right so the value is of minimum equals to 12 so that is how we are going to answer the question thank you